emanating from a driven need to augment the presence of women and the crucial roles they play in society, the Women's Institute of Management, or WIM, was founded in 1993 by Yang Berbahagia Tan Sri Datuk Napsia Omar, the then Minister of National Unity and Social Development, and Yang Berbahagia Datuk Dr. Nelly Tan Wong, a former board member of the Women's World Banking New York and Finance Chairman World YWCA Geneva. Its general aim was to not only spawn new horizons among Malaysian women, but also have a significant bearing on women's roles in Malaysia and within the ASEAN region. Its slogan, Excellence Through Professionalism, Partnership and Caring, has been the impetus in propelling its key objectives, which are to promote the leadership of women in all sectors, provide skills training for women to gain access to income, and to promote partnership with men for the development of the total community at local, national and global levels. Its Board of Trustees are drawn from the ranks of distinguished individuals who offer their stewardship on a voluntary basis. The Board is supported by an advisory panel chaired by Dr. Rokia Talib, an education board chaired by Mr. V.T. Nathan, and a membership committee chaired by Dr. Tarsitius Chin. A substantial portion of WIM's initiatives are carried out at its very own premises in No. 7 Jalan Abang Haji Oping, Tamantun Dr. Ismail Kuala Lumpur. WIM's six-storey building not only houses the Institute's Administration Department and Education Department, but also a Women's Hall of Fame, Computer Lab, Library, Atrium, Exhibition Area, Tun Dr. Siti Hasma VIP Lounge, seminar rooms, auditorium, a residential block and a car park with 90 bays. To date, in the course of underscoring the need to empower women and better themselves, WIM has successfully initiated over 684 programs in 2015 which have either directly or indirectly benefited 30,126 participants. This includes free training courses to a wide spectrum of women's groups in small businesses and basic ICT skills. These groups include single mothers, women in rural areas and Aboriginal communities, women in prisons, women in plantations, women in support homes and even in areas affected by epidemic attacks. And through its various initiatives, WIM has been successful in enabling women to carry out basic entrepreneurship activities such as the sales of pressed flowers, candle wax lampshades, basketry and other cottage industry businesses. Not surprisingly, several enterprising individuals have realised their dreams of becoming owners of their very own businesses through WIM's various training, education and development programmes. WIM has been circumspect in addressing the various categorical needs of women from all walks of life by operating its own college. The WIM College, approved by the Ministry of Education, is solely owned by WIM and provides the means for career development and attainment of higher education through its Master of Business Administration degree from a UK university. Apart from mainstream education, Talks, seminars and training programs are also conducted on a wide spectrum of topics and disciplines. These include online video portal training, LinkedIn training for your business, leadership, necessary understanding of accounts and a lot more. WIM also publishes its very own business journal, Inspire as well as from time to time publish various literature on topics such as finance, real estate, business, health, fundraising and many more. WIM's 20th anniversary commemorative stamps and postcards. 
In the span of more than two decades, WIM, in the course of achieving its objectives, has forged ties and developed synergistic homegrown clubs and groups that share with it a common vision. These include the WIM Toastmasters Club, WIM Support Group for Recurring Pregnancy Loss, WIM Corporate Networking Malaysia Group, CNM, and WIM UEL MBA alumni. Yang Amat Berhormat, the Prime Minister, in recognizing WIM, has appointed WIM's CEO, Datuk Dr. Nelly Tan Wong, to the newly formed Women's Advisory and Consultative Council in 2015. Suffice to say, WIM's role towards affecting positive change among women both locally and regionally has attracted considerable recognition and respect. They include two public relations awards were presented from the Institute of Public Relations Malaysia to WIM. WIM earned accreditation with the Malaysia Power Brand 2011 for education category in respect of brand development and management. Brand Laureate Iconic Leadership Award to WIM CEO in 2011. WIM was winner of European Union Malaysia Chamber of Trade and Commerce Sustainability Award 2012 in the Empowerment of Women category. And National Outstanding Educator Award College category presented to WIM's chairperson in 2015. A testament of this is clearly evident in the various accolades and accreditation it has to its name as the Women's Ministry recognized WIM as Women's Champion. And that's on top of being awarded extended projects from the United Nations Population Fund in respect of organizing training workshops related to women's health issues, entrepreneurship, empowerment of women in violence, and women afflicted with HIV AIDS. By the end of 2015, WIM's website attracted as many as 73,995 hits per month from 153 countries. WIM has organized the Tun Dr. Siti Hasma WIM Inspirational Woman of the Year Award for four times. This award honors a woman who has faced challenges in her early life, overcame them, became a success, and now contributes back to society. The award organizing chairperson was Yang Berbahagia Huan Sri Siu Yong Yanalingam. Maintaining its relevance, efficacy and values are imperative in achieving WIM's objectives both today and into the future. Whatever the future bears, the Women's Institute of Management is prepared to meet the call for the advancement of women. A 
quality of life for one and all, a quality of life for one and all.